Well, cancer is something that has affected nearly every family. 25 years ago, a run came to town, its profits going to cancer research. Now, within a few years, the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure funded more breast cancer research than any other nonprofit. Now, Mike Shu reports the local race is coming back to the city. 3,000 people in pink first raced for the cure at Rash Field in 1993. It grew and moved over to the stadiums. Then it moved again to Hunt Valley, raising 39 million along the way. Valencia McClure is on the board of Coleman, Maryland. But then I participated in the uh, Coleman, Maryland race. She became involved even before she got life-changing news. Once you, you receive the word that you have breast cancer, it becomes surreal. Your mind is just kind of just in a bubble at that point, and you're just grabbing for whatever you can get. Coleman quickly gave her good information, and now she's giving back. It does motivate me. It really does because I know what the difference means in someone's life. So that's why Valencia is we part of this announcement. To announce that the 25th annual Komen Maryland Race for the Cure will be moving to Baltimore City here in McHenry Row. It's a big deal for the city. Well, it's where it started. You know, I think it's always good to, to come back to where you start. I think this is the 25th anniversary, so very exciting for Baltimore City. And for the charity, as it wants to attract more runners from south of the city. You know, we do kind of have to give it something that makes people really want to kind of dig in and, and, and experience that. And I think that being down here and getting to go through more Fort McHenry is going to be a huge benefit to that. In all, they hope to raise $850,000. I'm Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness News in McHenry Row. Back to you on TV Hill. Now, right now, there are seven Coleman funded national research grants happening at hospitals in Maryland. Be good to have it back in the city. Absolutely. <laughs>